I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, I want to go back to our data engineering playlist and I want to talk about rank in SQL Server. Now, rank is also supported on other database platforms, but today we're going to use SQL Server. And uh, what rank does is it allows you to uh, put a column on your query that sort of ranks things according to different criteria. And so you can have, you know, uh, a price, you know, top price, most expensive, down to lowest expensive, uh, or you can also, you can group things together uh, so that things are ranked within the group, um, which is very, very handy. And so without further ado, let's get to our rank on SQL Server. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so I've opened SQL Server Management Studio here, and I'm just going to start a new worksheet here, new query, and I'm using the AdventureWorks database, uh, which is a sample database from Microsoft, and uh, so uh, this uh, query can be used on SQL Server or Azure SQL, just so that uh, you know that. And uh, in this case, I'm selecting from salesLT.product table, and uh, and it has you know the name of bikes and bike accessories and things like that, and it's got a list price, and uh, and and that sort of uh, the structure of that table. So what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and if we wanted to uh, use a rank, so say we wanted to use the, I don't know, the name and the list price and, and rank the list price, uh, then what we can do is uh, we, can, we can start a query and, um, and, and we can, uh, I'll grab the table here just so that the, uh, the query editor uh, clears the little red lines there so that it recognizes what we're doing. And um, so we'll select name as product. I'm surprised that they used a reserve word for a name, a name of a field there, but um, select name as product. That's why name is blue. That's sort of a, a little warning not to create your database table with that uh, name field name. But anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do rank uh, over and then we're going to order by list price descending as price rank and that's one field and if we run that one you can see uh, that it's got multiple um, because there's multiple lines with uh, the same value uh, the rank skips ahead um, to the next uh, to the next row so each row is counted so you will see skips if you have uh, duplicate values uh, for the field that is in your order by um, and uh, but it does give a nice rank you can see there's five rows that are price rank one and then the next uh, rank that is given is six um, because it's the fifth row there was duplicate values in there and uh, but if you wanted to say create a query that you know you know said one two three four with no skipping in it or something like that you could do something like um, you know with list with price as you know this is a CTE, so I'm creating a common table expression here where I've got um, a nice little table in memory that I created with select distinct list price from product. And then I can select from that CTE uh, and I can use our rank over. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to select list price. I'll do rank over and then we're going to order by list price again. Um, and, uh, and then uh, descending, of course, because we want our highest prices at the top. And, uh, and if I run that statement uh, using F5 there, uh, you can see now I've got, you know, one, two, three, and you could join this back to your, your starting query if you wanted to have, you know, specifically uh, one, two, three, four, five without any, any um, skipping in there. And so that's sort of a nice way of doing that, that part of it. And, uh, but there's also uh, partition by, which is uh, a nice way to specify that you want to rank things within a certain group. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this query. I'm going to select from product and product category tables. So I'm going to join those two together using their ID. 
and then now I've got a category name uh, that I can uh, that I can use. So I want to rank all my prices inside of the category, but I want it to restart when it goes to the beginning of you know the next category. And so that's what we'll do here. So I'll go ahead and I'll grab um, the category table. So I'll say I used an alias CAT there for that. And you can uh, see I'll select cat.name as category. Um, name is blue there because it is a reserved word. Um, uh, but uh, that should be fine. If you do run into problems with that and it doesn't resolve, you can put the square brackets around it. Um, and that will normally take care of a reserved word uh, as well. Um, but I'll choose uh, uh, product table dot name as well. Um, I'll put a comma up there. I've got a double select in there. Whoops. <laughs> uh, so I've got uh, select category name uh, for category and then product name. Uh, and I'll just call that product. And then I'll grab uh, product, uh, the list price from the product table, uh, just so that we've got that there. And then uh, in order to do this one, we'll use our rank and we'll do over. Uh, and then we're going to put in partition by um, category name um, or category. And then uh, order by, we still need to have our order by list, uh, list price descending. Just like we did before, I put a line break in there just for uh, readability. Uh, but all of that is inside of those brackets there, and we call that as price rank. And now, if we uh, if we go ahead and uh, and we run that one using F5, um, we can get some results. And as you can see here, um, you know, Bib Shorts only has three rows. Um, they're all the same price, so they're price rank one. Some other categories have the same issue, or they only have one item in, in the category, bike stands, for example. But Bottles and Cages has three items, and they're all different prices. And so now you can see uh, they're ranked one, two, three, according to the price, uh, according to the value of the price. And that's exactly what we want to see here. Um, same with uh, bottom brackets. There's some different um, prices for bottom brackets. And they have uh, they have a rank as well, and so that's uh, that's how you can see uh, those ones using the rank function, and that is how you use rank with partition by and order by in SQL Server. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on rank. If you like what you saw today, please uh, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.